Did you know there was a song? Because apparently there is. <laughs> Marina's got I'm it ready her, for my guac. Now she's, got her, she's got it on her playlist now. So sitting in that bowl with a glorious green hue, it's calling you. You can't deny it. It's guacamole. <laughs> the dip with the fun name that we all know and love. We're going to celebrate by giving it the respect it rightly deserves. It's the dip of the Americas, and ABC's Tina Trin has more. It's National Guacamole Day, and we're here at Cafe Frida in New York City to check out some of the best around. Let's go. There's two ingredients that are always in a Mexican table, which is lime and avocado. The Aztecs used to refer to the avocado tree as a tree of life. And the fruit of the tree was uh, aguacato. That means testicle because of the shape of the fruit and because of the oh. source of life. Okay, <laughs> good to know. Let's do this. I want to get started. I'm hungry. Okay. Uh, the first time of we put the cilantro. Chop cilantro. Serrano pepper. Sea salt. Then squeeze the lime. You gotta have the lime. Yeah. You're gonna mash that all up. Mash the whole thing. Mmm, it smells great already. Yes. Avocado. Avocado. And then you just slice it up right in there. You can cut it in small pieces. Okay. Scoop it right in. We recommend has avocado. Mexican has avocado. Has avocados, okay. Because of the uh, flavor and the uh, the texture. This is so interesting because I always do the avocado first and then throw everything in, but you actually have to do the spices first. That's what we do. And, okay. And I think that makes that, that little difference. Mm. And then I, I'd say this is the base, and mm -hmm. then you can add anything you want. Our traditional recipe goes with chopped tomato. Oh, okay, so we're gonna and, put tomatoes uh, in. Chopped yeah. white onion. And white onion. And voila. And that's yeah. it. And we're not gonna even mash it really, huh? We don't mash it, we like it chunky. And the traditional way to have it, it's uh, with, with, a lot of, with a lot of things. Oh, I thought you were gonna say with a lot of margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> I was kinda hoping you would say that. <laughs> awesome. Good yeah, thing. Thanks so much. Thank you. This looks beautiful. I can't wait to try it. Cheers. Salud. 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 <laughs> Whoops. Salud. Salud. This looks incredible. This is amazing. Of course, they sent it over to Cafe Frida on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. Mm. It's a great little restaurant, and they make a great guacamole. Also known, did you know the avocado is known as the alligator pear? I've never I heard that before. I didn't know that. Yeah. I did not know so, that. So it says on our cheat sheet. And it dates back to the Aztecs. Mm. Incredible. Now, Dan was saying the poor man's guac. Would you like to share <laughs> that recipe with the rest of the community? Folks, this is what you're going to do. If you don't have time to go out and get all those ingredients, and really, who does these days? You're just going to get yourself an avocado. Avocado, get a jar of salsa, mix the whole thing in. People are gonna think you spent hours making it. But you gotta get one of these fancy That's a trick. Pestles. It's all about presentation. This totally is it right is. here. I'm but sticking this thing in my bag. This is come. thanks to Cafe Frida. Amazing. This may be the best guac I've ever had in my life. This is this is you were already digging into it. I was digging in before we even cut the break.